do 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 the creepy and the cookie, mysterious and spooky, they're all together ooky, the Adams family. The house is a museum, but people come and see them, they really are a scream, the Adams family. Do 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 do, neat, do 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 do, sweet, do 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 do, do 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 do, do 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 do, petite. So get a rich or shawl em. a blue said you can crawl em. We're going to pay a call on the Adams Family. Yep, that's right. The Adams Family. And I had to sing that classic theme song, so I couldn't resist. And this is the new um, 2019 3D computer animated feature. It just came out recently, and I saw it yesterday with my family, and we had a good time. I've, in my opinion, it's excellent and funny. I mean, going for that particular style that's um, in comparison with after the uh, the New Yorker cartoonist uh, Charles Adams, uh, who created the comic strip that became so popular that it actually spawned a 60s TV series with John Astin, Caroline Jones, uh, Jackie Coogan, and all the rest. That also had a TV movie. Yeah, it only lasted two seasons, by the way. We also had uh, the 1991 film adaptation, which after Charles Adams' death, um, his widower um, took over for the rights. Orion Pictures was going to re release it originally, but due to their bankruptcy problems that they were going on, that they sold it to Paramount Pictures. And that's where we got the sequel that became very popular after the success of the first movie called uh, Adam's Family Values, and both of which starred Walt Julia, God Rest His Soul, uh, Angelica Houston, Christina Ricci, Christopher Lloyd, and many of the other actors that follow. Yeah. Then we had the direct-to-video sequel, uh, Adam's Family Reunion, which had Tim Curry and Daryl Hannah. Um, along with the rest, which actually sets up for a TV series on Fox Family Channel called The New Adams Family. We did have the the Hanna-Barbera uh, animated series that came out uh, after the success of the 1991 film adaptation. So, and seeing that MGM got the rights to the Adams Family TV series uh, from Orion Pictures, which in turn bought the rights through uh, Filmways, that they finally did an animated feature after all this time. I mean, yes, it was so popular. They had a lot of Broadway musicals and all this other stuff going around. I mean, no, no doubt about it, people remember this immortal family that are not exactly what they seem you know, compared to many families out there. <laughs> yeah. But I always loved it. So I, I always loved watching the Adams Family and ever since I was a kid and I always had fun with it. I, I love the idea. Where you got uh, Gomez uh, along with Matisha, Wednesday, Pugsley, Lurch, Uncle Fester, Grandmama, and of course Fame, you know the hand that just crawls around <laughs> every time it goes. You know. Even Cousin It joining in, and all the rest of their family, relatives, I mean, they gather around just to <laughs> make a call. But outside of the different uh, world here, I mean, basically get like, well, nicer people compared to what they go for. <laughs> you know, they, a, lot, a lot of dark and mysterious stuff here. Yes, uh, it is getting mixed reviews uh, when it came out. I mean, already seeing that we got the new uh, animated style. I mean, it's not perfect, I understand that, but it's trying to model after the, the comic strip from Charles Adams. Um, so they're trying to go for that look and vibe to it. But I, yeah, they're criticizing it mostly because of the lighter tone and all this other stuff that's in the mix of the film or 
or the fact that yes, you know, they did got Snoop Dogg and all, all the, some some pop songs in the mix, which I don't know if it fits pretty well, but I guess they're just trying their best. Um, hey, I'm, I'm not expecting the movie to be like the 1991 film adaptation, nor its sequel, or, or any other, but yeah, I didn't expect it to be a lot worse than Adam's Family Reunion, yeah, which, I mean, it's, I know that one's not perfect, but I'm just not saying that it's, it's meant to be, I mean, it's just what, what I expected. I mean, for the Halloween season. And, but hey, then again, these are the same critics who praise uh, Dora and the City of, of Gold. I mean, god damn it, man. I, I mean, come on, seriously. Or Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle and all that. I mean, geez, are, are they really expecting those? Seriously, man. That's what I don't understand critics these days. But hey, you know, that's why I acknowledge Ron Tomatoes to see what's going on. But I mostly go there not just to, to look at uh, everyone's reviews or anything, but I like to check to see what's going on here. I like to look at some information and upcoming titles and all this other stuff that's happening. I mean, they even have trailers in there. And sometimes I like to look at uh, some articles, too. So I, I don't hate the site, I just like to go there just for just for the fun of it, okay? But again, you know, I mean, I do respect their opinions, so I understand. And it's not just critics uh, in general, it's also YouTube uh, reviewers as well, yeah, like like Chris Stuckman, for instance, or, or Jeremy Johns, which I'm not a big fan of, but whatever. Then we have to deal with Doug Walker, aka the Soldier Critic, which I know he's playing the character, and you know, which I'm already losing respect for him, you know, since he's he doesn't care much about movies. He just focused more on his his lame skits, like it's Saturday Night Live. I mean, he's I mean he's never gonna give up, too. I mean, especially with the controversy that was going on uh, last year, or which in turn actually went on over the years. I don't know what's going on with him. And even brought brought in his even brought in his uh, brother Rob. I mean, come on. But then I, I also focus on other uh, reviewers too, like you know, like the Matt and Mike and Jonathan or whatever. So hey, you know, what can we do? <laughs> And then I also have my friends too, like like Quinn and, and Robbie. So I respect them too. I respect other people's opinions too. So I know, hey, you know, I'm not perfect either. But that's okay. But I, I don't want to get into that argument here. Let's um, get to the review. It stars um, Oscar Isaac, yeah, who's been best known for films like Ex Machina and, and the Star Wars movies. Uh, Charlie Sferrin, uh, yes, best known for uh, her Oscar winning role in Monster and the films like Prometheus, uh, Two Days in Valley, among others. Uh, Chloe Grace Moretz, uh, yes, she's been in other films too like um, Kick-Ass and Dark Shadows. Yeah, Tim Burton, um, even Hugo from uh, Martin Scorsese, Finn Woodhart, Nick Kroll, Snoop Dogg, yes, Snoop Dogg, the rapper, but he also had been in other films too in his career, you know, like The Wash, Bones, um, even the... <laughs> Skarsky and Hutch, Ben Mittler, yeah, legendary actress, uh, been in many movies like uh, Big Business, Stella, uh, Rootless People, Hocus Pocus, <laughs> yeah. Allison Jenny, yes, Juno, the TV series Mom, uh, other films that she's been in. 
uh, Conrad Burnin, uh, Leslie Fisher, Martin Short, yes, Martin Short, The Three Amigos, uh, Inner Space, Clifford, no, not Clifford the Big Red Dog, no, Clifford, <laughs> the 1994 film. Uh, Catherine O'Hara, yes, uh, Beetlejuice, and Nightbird for Christmas. Ami Garcia, Palm uh, Clem Meditif, Titus Burgess, and Harlan Williams, and Jennifer Lewis. It's written by Matt uh, Lieberman, along with Pamela Pedler. Yep, based on the characters by Charles Adams. And it's directed by Conrad Burnin and Greg Tierman. The movie begins where we meet a creepy couple by the name of Gomez and Patricia Adams who are being chased away with the rest of the Adams family clan during a wedding ceremony by an entire angry mob because of their disapproval of their macabre nature. They chase them away and they wound up at New Jersey and that's where um, they drive by and they ran over what seems to be an escaped mental patient which turned out to be their butler, Lurch. And that's when they found an abandoned haunted mansion yeah, filled with all these creepy and kooky and spirits and yeah, it's one that says, GET OUT! And they finally found their home. <laughs> so 13 years later, that's where we got to see the Adams family come to life with, uh, with their sons and daughters, uh, Pugsley, Wednesday, and they joined by with uh, Gomez's brother, Uncle Fester. And he also got Fame and um, Grandmama. She, of course, she joins later on. They also got their pet lion to to come by and and the rest is history and they just do what they usually do uh, with the family you know just uh, throwing knives uh, you know, throwing bombs or you know playing the piano I mean, chopping the dow heads on the gullet team um, and whenever uh, they ring the door yeah, Lurch always comes by and, and he just says, You rain. He, even Matisha, you know, cuts all these uh, roses and just kept the stems. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I know sometimes even Gomez can just go around playing on the train or, or doing all this other crazy shit. Everything. <laughs> well, but hey. That's what you had to live for. So, uh, through the course of this um, entire story, Gomez was preparing his son Pugsley for the upcoming bazooka, which is a, a tradition for every Adams family member to have to take, where they have to go around um, you know, forming a, a beard and you know, turns into a mustache and then doing all these uh, sword fights and stuff. Sort of like that. Um, meanwhile, Morticia uh, was struggling to keep um, their daughter uh, Wednesday for wanting the experience of the world outside of the mansion, which that's where she spotted a, a balloon and confetti appearing on their property. And it turned out to be a town called Assimilation that's run by a reality TV host. Marka Needler is building a perfect planned community for the entire town, which is more, you know, fluffy, uh, perkish, uh, but all pink and you know, lovely and more, uh, more like a makeover type of stuff. They discover the Adams family's uh, household and become determined to get rid of the entire town when the family refused to change. So it deals with changes going around. So then Wednesday meets uh, Margaret's neglected daughter, Parker, and convinces um, Morticia to let her attend at junior high school. And Pugsley, however, was struggling the, to, to deal with the complications and the traditions of uh, the mazooka. Yeah, even with their guidance of uh, both 
Gomez and Uncle Fester. Yeah, most of the time, for this entire family, you know, they're going around doing all this uh, crazy, dangerous, uh, you know, creepy, kooky stuff like they always do. You know, they always, you know, with Pugsley, you know, sending out all these M16, you know, he even rides on a bomb, too. Yeah, tons of bombs that he has, you know, like grenades and stuff. Um, you know, Uncle Fester is just going around, you know, you know taking a bath <laughs> with, uh, with the boat and stuff. It's just funny because <laughs> cause there's that scene where, where Pugsley just sends out the bomb and then the bathtub appears and, <laughs> and he says, You suck my battleship. <laughs> Uh, but of course, he also um, goes around just uh, putting a light bulb in his mouth, you know, just to flash some lights or take pictures or whatever. Um, of course, even Gomez and Matisha start to make love at times. But whatever. <laughs> or sending out all, all these, uh, all these spiders or stuff. Okay. At school, uh, Wednesday uh, defends Parker from a school bully named Bedney. And, yeah, which she actually sends a moldy sandwich and pours some orange uh, drink inside uh, Parker's backpack. But since then, uh, both Wednesday and Parker became friends. And they just uh, started to get revenge uh, on her. I'm glad they did. Even for science class, uh, they were actually uh, dis dissecting the frog, and Wednesday and Parker uh, together were creating a, <laughs> a science experiment to actually revive them. And it worked. <laughs> uh, so next thing you know, uh, for the past uh, couple days, uh, Wednesday decided to hang out with Parker. Uh, already um, her room is filled with all these teen magazines and teen idols and stuff uh, with posters hanging around and trying to explain about uh, Parker's problem with uh, her mom seeing that Margaret is just going around uh, not only focusing on her reality show but the entire community and you know, making all these new houses and everything but it also leads a deep secret that you know she's really up to something and rightly so Next thing you know, Parker became, uh, of course, everyone's always obsessed with their cell phones and all this technology that they have. I mean, she has a cell phone too, and she's going around taking pictures and stuff, and, and then next thing you know, she actually gave it a, a gothic look, you know, which got an influence from Wednesday. But then, um, Wednesday and Morticia weren't getting along, so she had to run away, stay with Parker, had to live by... Had to live together, you know, going on with civil changes where she had to wear a pink colored dress or or even having to wear a a hairpin of a, a unicorn sort of thing. Um, so anyway so then Wednesday and Parker had to discover a secret room under Parker's house, which then leads to what Margaret's been doing the whole time. And yes, I'm going to spoil the surprise here, was that she actually, as he spot, as he exposed her secrets uh, behind uh, closed doors, you know, spying on them throughout the entire community. And then Margaret, uh, took both Wednesday and, and Parker, uh, put them directly into the attic. And the next thing you know, uh, Margaret decided to bring in the entire angry mob just when the Adams Family Clan, the Adams Family Clan came by and for the celebration of the Mazooka, you know, for Pugsley. Yes, which that's where you meet Cousin It. And, uh, one of the other relatives joined her by, and for the tradition, but Wednesday wasn't there because they got caught. But they're trying to find a way to escape, which they did, so they can make it. 
before uh, Margaret and and the rest of the entire town that started shooting the um, started shooting all these uh, catapults landed directly to the house and that's where it became a war against uh, the entire towns around. Yeah, with Pugsy just bringing in all the M16 bombs to the stop them. So they were under attack until you know, Parker arrives with her cell phone and actually filmed the entire uh, thing live, which causes uh, her reality show to be canceled. And that's where you know, both Patricia had to try to uh, explain to to the entire uh, town that you know try to teach them that you know everyone should be along with Wednesday and Parker to join in to help everyone through the record safety to help the problems and having to deal with their tree ichabod you know helping them out <laughs> um, but anyway the whole point here was that um, they had to learn their lesson on trying to get along with the entire town because then it can get much worse. As the times go by, uh, Uncle Fester uh, you know, joins in with Margaret to you know, sell some uh, some real estate and and then the, you know try to fix their errors of their ways. Um, so they all worked together rebuilding the entire mansion that's been destroyed and now it went back to the way it was. So. So now both the Adams family and the Simulation civilians around are, are living in peace together. So, there you go. <laughs> um, but I gotta say, uh, very creative as it turned out. Um, it's excellent, very funny at times, and, and I, I really appreciate what they had to do here. Um, has an excellent uh, cast of, of great actors joining by and and they really lend the voices uh, very well. Um, does have its gothic exterior, um, even though for the most part they just put in some lighter tones, but that's okay. That's what they're trying to focus on. Even for the writing and, and the direction that they went for, I thought they did a fine job. And I mean, hey, it's not perfect, I understand, but I don't think it's that bad. Um, Yes, uh, they do have a soundtrack with uh, the song Haunted Heart by Christina Aguilera. Uh, and then we had like some songs uh, called My Family by Snoop Dogg, Carol G, and Migos. Yeah. Um, and the rest is just also some other... <laughs> all these other songs from... You know, like for example, when Lurch was like playing uh, different tunes... Uh, that we're all familiar with. <laughs> uh, even put there's even a scene where he was actually singing the song "Everybody Hurts" you know, by REM. Just giving like a <laughs> falsetto voice. <laughs> there's other funny moments here and there, you know, like where where the their pet lion is just going around chasing <laughs> everyone, or or when you know during that once they went inside the assimilation, the assimilation town, and they're trying to meet everyone around, and they all got scared. Uh, Pugsley's like uh, licking the, yeah, Pugsley's like drinking water from a dog bowl, or, or any of this other crazy stuff happening. <laughs> or even the scene where, um, the TV crew uh, came inside the Adams family's uh, mansion, and you know they're going, they're just exploring, touring around, and then you know they all got caught, <laughs> and and then even the uh, even Matisha started to let out all these uh, all these spiders coming from her dress, and just so they can build a bridge so to go straight from the uh, the deep hole. <laughs> and they almost fall and I, I just explained it as much as I could. Um, but all in all, I, you know, it, it's, I mean, sure, it, the design that they came up with for, 
for the Adams family isn't exactly what we expected. I mean, I know it started to look almost like somewhat of a traditional CGI animated from all these uh, Illumination animated films, you know, like uh, Minions and the Despicable Me and movies that we had, even the sequel Life of Dogs, but but that's what they're trying to go for. They're trying to go for the spirit of the original comics by Charles Adams, so I think this is the best they could do. I mean, maybe they should have added some more uh, darker moments here and there, and, and I guess they could have also uh, added uh, maybe some more scenes with, uh, you know, Gomez and Letitia, you know, doing that famous... Uh, <laughs> The famous scene where they always, where Matisha speaks uh, French, and and that's where Gomez suddenly goes crazy and starts, uh, <laughs> you know, kissing her arm a lot. Just, I would have loved to see that. Yeah, uh, or any of those other gags here and there. And it's nice to see that it's doing pretty well at the box office. Uh, and so far, so good. It just made uh, 35 million like over 35 million dollars but I think it's going to earn more for its shares um, for its um, global promotion for MGM you know, for all this merchandising that we got uh, Universal Pictures handles the international rights so, so they're, they're going to handle it pretty well too um, but all in all I think it's um, going to do uh, even more um, once it once it continues, uh, even through the Halloween weekend. And yes, uh, I just heard that they're going to make a new sequel to this, and it's coming out later on October 2021. So, I would love to see that, too. I wonder what the next sequel is going to turn out to be for this animated feature. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's what it is. I mean, it's, it's excellent. I mean, it's great to see... Um, the entire uh, strange immortal family come to life in animated form. I mean, I mean, sure, it's not going to top the the 1991 film adaptation along with its sequel, Adam's Family Values, or any of the TV, as well as the TV series. Yeah, the original TV series from the 60s, or even the the Fox Family series, for that matter. But the fact is, uh, but all in all, it's a good movie. It's excellent. It's funny. I mean, it's not supposed to take itself too seriously. It's just it's supposed to be uh, fun and spooky. That's all it is. Uh, so anyway, that's the Adams Family, the new um, 2019 animated feature, and I give it four stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.